Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. It's supposed to be a glorious day today, 28 degrees centigrade. So I thought, let's take the old KTM 890i out for a bit of a run. Hasn't been out for a little while. I feel like I've neglected it because I really like my GS1250. So let's take this out for a little bit of a run and a bit of a chat. So without further ado, let's hop onto this, start it up. And as I said, I haven't actually used it for a little while. So hopefully, it's going to start. <laughs> so see. There we go. So it is actually due a service. There we go, the service light is on. Let's go for a little ride. So I've had the old KTM 890R now for just over two years. So I think it's out of warranty now. And the sad thing is, I've already been down to the local dealer just to see if I can extend the warranty for a third year. But KTM don't do that anymore so that's a shame but what they are doing now is when you take your bike in to have it serviced at the approved KTM dealer then if the bike subsidy breaks down then KTM will apparently pay for it to be recovered so yeah so get your bike serviced at KTM and you get free recovery included in the service so anyway so I thought I just thought we'd come out and have a little bit of a chat so as you know, I've got this 890R and my BMW R1250 GS, which I absolutely love. Now the problem with that is the KTM just doesn't get ridden anymore. I haven't really done as much riding on the KTM as what I would like. So we've done over about just over 2000 miles, which is absolutely nothing in two years. I did ride it a lot when I first got it with the GS. This has just gone to the side of the garage and it just lives, lives under blankets. So what I'm going to do now is just pop down to the BMW dealership actually. They've got a second hand 2020 Triumph Speed Twin 1200. So I'm going to try that uh, and the reason I might go and try one of those is when my GS was being serviced I had use of the, I'm going to say little Triumph 900 and that was such a joy to ride i really enjoyed that so i thought well there's a second hand 1200 to sell let's let's go and take that for a spin basically i just find the 890r is a little bit sort of full on for where i live the days are numbered for the 890r it's just a great bike but i don't use it and that's the sad thing about it i just don't use it at all and when i do use it well you just want to ride it fast and where i live I don't really want to get prosecuted for anything. I'm just going to see if that Triumph Speed Twin 1200 is still for sale, take it out for a bit of a blast and see what I think of it. And maybe that might steer me to, to another kind of bike. I really like the Twins. I love the GS. I love the, the power of the, the 890, it just pulls. So I'm not really into to four cylinder bikes. The little Triumph 660 that I took out, couple of weeks ago what a cracking little bike that was really enjoyed riding that so anyway let's go and try the triumph speed twin 1200 up i think it's called the speed twin anyway let's go down to the dealership so in the two years that i've had the ktm it's never let me down whatsoever it's been very reliable it's always been on a trickle charger generally it starts first time on the button and the only problem I ha i've had with it is when i collected it from the dealer brand new uh they just delayed the delivery by 24 hours because the battery on it from the factory was knackered so uh, they had to put a new battery in it so that's the only thing that's gone wrong with it so let's just have a look to see if the Triumph is still around oh it's still there there we go so it's over there so let's let's go and see if we can take that one out Whoa. So there she is, this is the Triumph Speed Twin and it's got these very nice Vance and Hines exhaust on. So let's go and try it out. Try it out. So 4,892 miles. I think it's been sold for 8,800 pounds or something. So I really liked the 900 when I rode that. So let's take this one out. That does sound nice.
very nice. So right from the offset then, feet are just slightly backwards, a little bit of a sporty position. I'm five foot nine, 32 inch seam as they say. And it's quite a bit of a reach for the bars actually. Just let this lady go through. <laughs> there, so it's um, feet slightly rearwards and a bit, bit of a lean forward, but flattish bars, very comfortable, really is comfy. Seat feels good, but this is only a quick, a quick ride, just to see if I like the, the general theme of the Triumph 1200. And sadly for me, I do, I do. Back brake is a little bit of a reach up from the peg to to put it on, and then the gear shift. I'm just sort of searching for the peg with my foot, so I'd have to adjust that. But it's a very nice bike, right off the bat, very nice. Neutral, straight away, no problems. The missing the, var missing the flyer didn't really like the, the grey sort of clocks. I think he bought some dials that he's inserted from the US of A for about 160 quid. So yeah, black dials would have been nice. But this bike is immaculate. Very nice. Brembo front brake. Can adjust the span on that. And the clutch as well. Brake feels really good. Slow moving traffic. Track's nice. Yeah, lovely. Clutch, not heavy at all. Nice. Nice. Flat foot, absolutely. No problem whatsoever. In fact, I can't be bothered to go through the traffic. Let's go this way. I must be getting old. Deary me. Right, let's go this way. So this should sound quite nice up here with the high sides. Let's have a listen. Let's open my visor. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby. Sounds lovely. Plenty of go to it. Very relaxed riding. Pulls very well. Neutral handling, turns in. Yeah, really good. I've only been on it five minutes. I already want one. Deary me, my missus would kill me. So we're in sports mode now. I don't really know too much about the engine. I'm going to put some specifications up here. So it's a 1200 Triumph Speed Twin. That's really all I know about it. I've looked at some reviews on the internet, online, on YouTube. Yeah, lots of good reviews. There's obviously the new one out with the upside down forks and all that kind of stuff. But this is a 2020 model got 4,897 miles on the clock and we've just put it into sport mode and it does sound absolutely marvellous with those Vance and Hayes Triumph approved accessory aftermarket things so yeah the 890 really like it but I just don't use it whereas this already it feels like I'll get more use out, out of it it just feels like a bike that's suited to to where I am Vibrates a little bit about 5,000 revs when you're on the gas. I've noticed that already. You get it tingling on the bottom and through the grips. It's just the character, but it pulls really well. Very comfortable riding position. Lots of, lots of character, basically. You know, you don't have to go like a lunatic to enjoy it. Lovely day out, look. Really nice, steers well. Yeah, goes all right. Braking wise, nobody behind me. Yeah, brakes seem pretty good. Not sure what's on the front. Brembo brakes, is it? You don't always have to buy a brand new, do you folks? Nice view of France. And the tires, I think we've got Diablo, Rossi kind of thing with jigs on. Always ride in the distance you can see to be clear. There we go. And you won't crash. So the KTM feels like you just want to 
thrash it all the time to get the best out of it but this you don't have to thrash it I, I was really impressed with the 900 impressed with the 1200 as well oh yeah feel the vibes under the bottom <laughs> it's nice Take a gear, pulling out the corner. Red lines at 7,000 revs. Yeah, it's just nice. Good island bike, I think. Good bike that I can use. So it's food for thought. So let's just have a quick look at it then, shall we? Down. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's got a quick shifter. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a very pretty bike. Very pretty. Like it. Yes, goes with my boots. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Brembo brakes, tyres on this side, the Pirelli Rosso 3s. Yeah, grey, I love the colour, it's nice. So it's always food for thought, isn't it, folks? Got to go and try these things. Got a bit of an itch, got to scratch it. But it's immaculate. It is pretty much like brand new. Lovely detailing there. Triumph Bonneville 1200 HP. Nice. It is like it's just come out of the factory. Whoever had it certainly looked after it well. LED indicators. The mini ones. All kind of school suspension. I don't think there's too much of adjustment on there. I think it's just preload or something and you can't adjust the front it's just feels all right for me though yeah i like the yeah i like everything about it really yeah it's nice like it what is not to like about it really well that's it it's only a quick video folks so i really like this bike my missus might kill me though when i say what one either a new one or a second hand one like this so i think we'll go back to the dealer and then take my KTM and go and book it in for a service. Right, let's go. Like the mirrors, like the character. I think I just like the character of it. You don't have to ride it and break the speed limit, basically. Fuel lights come on. Okay, 31 miles. It's nice. You know, 40 miles an hour, lovely. It suits the roads very well. Sun's out. Open face helmet get a few tattoos, <laughs> grow a beard, or a longer beard, yeah, it's nice. Those of you folks that have got the Triumph 1200, you are very lucky. I wish I could have one in my garage, but I'll have to go and work on it. Anyway, back to the dealer. Oh, sounds lovely. Let's open the visor. Have a listen. And it pops as well. It pops as well, it's gorgeous. Lovely jubbly. So a question I've got to ask myself, and with the GS in the garage and this part next to it, would I jump on this and take this out over the GS? And the answer to that would be yes. At the moment with the 890R, it's the GS every time. So yeah, very fond of this, this bike. I'm gonna call, I keep calling it little, but it's a 1200. It's just because it's a little in stature, I guess. I do love the tank, actually, the way that it's sort of sculptured out down here and you can sort of squeeze the tank very easily. I like that. Mirrors are good. Brakes are nice. And then when you're on the gas a little bit, you can just feel the twin shocks at the back working. Obviously, they're I'm not going to say budget, but cost effective is the right word, I guess. Yeah, you just feel it sort of flexing a little bit. But I've only been on the bike for an hour, so it's just an initial kind of, oh, would, would it be a replacement for the KTM? And I think the answer would be, yeah. Now, would it be a second hand one or a new one? Yeah, not sure, not sure, not sure. I don't know what the wife would say. Very much. All the schools have kicked out. Oh, look at that. 21,000 pounds worth of M1000R sport thing. <laughs> he's got shorts and t-shirts on. Well done, at least he's got gloves on. 
Right, let's pop this one back in here. So, let's pop this here. Yeah, there's the old KTM. Very nice. That was very nice, that was. Oh, yeah. Yes, very nice. Well, back on the old KTM. So that Triumph is very nice, that Speed Twin, really like that. Very nice. Yeah, well that's certainly food for thought, folks. If those of you have got the old 2020 Speed Twin, got any comments to make? put them in the comment section down below. So I'm going to go down to the KTM dealer, put this in for a service, and then I think I'm going to offload it because it's just not being used enough. So what else is new then, folks? So I've just come back from a little bit of a mini tour with my good lady on the GS. We went to the Brecon Beacons. We got absolutely soaking wet. So the bike then went in for its 12-month service, which it's had, and basically they said the rear tyre was squared off so I've ordered some new tyres I've had those Michelin Road 6s on for about 4,500 miles so a little bit disappointed in that I guess and I had had a issue with the front tyre which has been documented on the channel of the bike just veering towards the left hand side when you were hands off the bars I know yeah, you shouldn't have your hands off the bars and all that but Sometimes you've got to adjust something on your person. And um, when I was doing that, yeah, the bike just decided to veer towards the left-hand side. Tried that in France as well, and it's still diving towards the left-hand side, so it certainly wasn't the camber. And now the rear is absolutely knackered, squared off. I'll put a little picky up here somewhere. So I've actually gone for, and I'm waiting for them to come down from the Mansell collection, they've uh, ordered them for me. They are the Metzler Touranced Next Twos. So again, if you've got any comments about those tyres, yeah, put them in the comment section down below, that would be lovely. So hopefully they should stop <laughs> that veering towards the left. That's the first thing I'm gonna be doing when I collect the bike with the new hoops on, taking the hands off the handlebars. I was gonna actually complain to Michelin but I did actually get the tyres checked when it went in for its first, its 12 month service. But oh, do you know what, I just can't be asked. So uh, the Road 6 is a really good tyre with a big butt. So, and, and I'm not the only one to have reported the veering towards the left hand side. And now with them being shot at four and a half thousand miles, maybe that's what I should have expected. I have absolutely no idea, but I won't be going back to them. Well folks, that's it for me. Uh, unusual video, I guess. Just want to put something else out, out there. Uh, just let you know what I'm, what I'm doing with the KTM and new tyres for the GS. So ride safe, see you again soon in the next video. Please smash that subscription button as we go towards 7,000 subscribers. Doing really well, folks. Here I am at uh, Bikers, my local KTM dealer. Going to book it in for service. As ever, ride safe. Comments down below. Take care. See you again soon. Bye. <sighs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>